What's up everyone, GT King here back in with, with another video. This is to show you that the give cars the frame glitch with the MOC method still works on all gen platforms. Now, here is the thing. In this video, I'm going to be giving. Now, I will link a video with the same method of me being on the receiving end in the description. But I want to do it vice versa this time to show what it is like for to uh, give the car. Or, but you just got to flip. You just have to flip the uh, the roles on who's receiving and giving, and when you watch the video. So, but what is required heard, for the person giving? The car is going to need a special vehicle warehouse with a special vehicle inside of it to glitch the receiver out. And they will need a plane or AA trailer or a car that they want to give the receiver. Now also, on the other hand, what the receiver will need is a mobile operation center with personal vehicle storage in Bay 3. Now, the only way you'll be able to purchase a mobile operation center is if you have a bunker. So, if you don't have a bunker, you just want to pull up your phone and you want to go to money and services and you want to go to foreclosure, maze bank, and you want to purchase yourself a bunker. Or it doesn't matter what bunker you have on the map. But once you have a bunker. You want to make yourself over to Warstock. And carry. And you want to purchase the mobile operations center. Doesn't matter what type of cab you get. Uh, doesn't matter what you have in Bay one and it doesn't matter what you have in bay two but what does matter are you want personal vehicle storage you don't want the vehicle workshop you want personal vehicle storage in bay three and you're also gonna want a two-door or a at least four door car inside of the mobile operations center in the back of it you don't mind losing and you will need need a story mode yes you will need story mode as the receiver so for right now this is how we gonna get my friend glitched out we're going to register as a ceo and we're going to invite him to the ceo so he's going to join my CEO invite. Now, real quick, if my friend does not have one, this is the one other thing he will need. He will need to own the RC tank. So real quickly, a before we go any further, if he doesn't have one, he's going to want to go on the phone in the game and purchase the RC tank tank and that's gonna be on war stock and carry and how to tell if you have a war uh, RC tank is going to interactions menu go to inventory and go down to remote control all vehicles and you just want to purchase that RC tank I mean see if you have it like if it's grayed out that means you don't own one if you don't own one purchase one so, we're going to wait for him to tell me if he has one or not. Uh, if he doesn't, he's going to have to purchase one. But they are on war stock. So, once he has one, now you want to request out your special vehicle. It does not matter which one it is. Once you have it out, you want to... 
it'll you'd have your friend get inside of it with you. So it has to be a special vehicle from the special vehicle garage. Now, once we do glitch him out, he will not be able to leave this area of the map. If he does, he will get unglitched. It will mess up the glitch. glitch. So, what we want to do is hop in to the driver's seat. He's going to hop in the passenger seat. Hey. So, once he gets in, he doesn't want to do nothing right now. But what I want to do is open up my interactions menu and drive up to the door of my special vehicle garage. Now, if your garage has two doors on it, like mine does. Now, I know which door sucks me in if I don't have my interaction menu open. And, but it's a good idea to have close your interaction menu, drive up to the door, and if it doesn't suck you in, then that means that's not the right door. If it sucks you in, it's the right door. So I have my interactions menu open so I know which door it is. So I'm just going to go up to the door or and I'm once I get up to it, I'm going to exit the vehicle and my friend is going to be switched over to the driver's seat. Once he hears the motor start up in the truck, he's good to exit the vehicle. Once he exits the vehicle, he wants to go inside the RC tank and he wants to hold Y to respawn. And when he respawns, he should flash. If he flashes, that means he's glitched out. Now, the part of the RC tank, it's not mandatory. It is optional, but it's the best way to tell that you are glitched. So we're just waiting to tell me if he flashed or not when he spawned back then. His character should have blinked a few times on his when he when he spawned it in. If he didn't, then that means he's not glitched. So that means now he is glitched out. Now he wants to leave my CEO and he wants to request his MOC and he wants to request the vehicle outside that's in the back of it. From there he wants to get inside the vehicle all that he put in the back of his MOC. And he wants to me to get inside of it. He wants to mark where his MOC is at so I can go and get it for him. Because if he leaves the area uh, and goes and get it himself, it will mess up the glitch. So all he wants to do is just have me get inside his vehicle with him. And he's going to mark where his MOC is at on the map. So now that he marked it, I'm just going to go and get the vehicle, his MLC, and bring it to him. Once I get it, I will tell y'all the next steps. So as I'm going to get go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and please join my GTA Discord server. Every like that y'all leave on the video, that tells me what y'all like to see and what y'all... I don't like to see on the channel so I know what to upload more of. Now once he does receive my vehicle, it will be in the back of his MOC. So if he wants to request it out after receiving it, it he will have to request it from the back of the MOC. And if he wants to receive another vehicle, he will need to move it. To a different garage because if you don't he will lose my vehicle if he uses my vehicle to glitch out with so we're just gonna pull up in here just like so so now we are in here now from here we're gonna want to hop in my friends car with him and we want to be on the pause menu not the interaction menu he is going to want to drive up to the back of his moc and press right on d-pad it should kick us out of the car when it does he wants to back away from the moc 
So now that we are out, we can close the interaction menu. Yeah. Now this is very important. Your friend wants to make sure he has you added as a friend, and he wants you want to make sure he has you added as a friend on Xbox or PlayStation. And so now he wants to hold down on D-pad and go up to Franklin and get on the alert like he wants to leave to go to story mode and press B. He wants to do that three, but the best time to do it is basically do it and double check to make sure you did do it right. Once he does, I just do that. He wants to go up to his MOC and he wants to enter alone. If he doesn't get the option to enter with nearby friends or crew, ew, ew, then that means y'all didn't have each other as added as a friend. So now he just wants to stay on that black screen. From there, the receiver, the one that is giving car or plane or or a a uh a trailer wants to make their way over to the give cars the friend spot the old one on the map so my friend just wants to chill on that black screen until we make it over there and it's gonna take me a minute to get it over there because i have to deal with this ai that want to pull me out of the car for stealing his car so just give me just a minute and I do have cops on me, so I just kind of call Lester to get the cops off me in the process of making my getaway over to the old give cars to friend spot. So my friend just wants to chill on that black screen and do nothing. Now, if he's receiving a plane before doing any of the steps that we just did prior to me heading over to the give cars the friend spot, he would want to make sure he had a hangar and he would want to make sure it is full of planes and it has at least one plane in there he did not mind losing. So he would not get a dead spot because once he received the plane, he is going to want to take it over to his hangar and put it in there and once he puts it in the hangar and replace it with a plane he doesn't mind losing he is going to want it to order a vehicle and have it sent to the back of his MOC that is very important so all the stuff that you just saw us do in the video just now if he was receiving a plane he would want have make sure he owned a hangar and he had it full of planes prior to doing this. So I'm just going to make my way over to the give cars the friend spot. It's the old spot where you used to trade cars. Before the other MOC methods have gotten patched. Now please note that this method could get patched on January 12th when Rockstar takes the snow out of the game aim so try to receive planes uh AA trailers because you need a mod A trailer to be able to mod your MOC I do have a video on my channel on how to mod your MOC -E, so make sure or you do take advantage of that before it gets patched so now we just want to call out the car and make sure it's unlocked for our friend to get inside of. Once we have it out on the map, we'll tell our friend the next step. So we're just going to call out the car that we are giving him. And we want to make sure it's unlocked for him to get inside of. So the car did spawn down the other street, so I'm going to have to go get it real quick, so then he can go and get inside of it. So right now my friend is just chilling on that black screen. Now when he does this next step, he's about to deal, he's only going to have a few seconds to get in the car because he will be invisible. 
So what he wants to do is hold down on D-pad and get that story mode alert again and press B. But now he won't see Franklin when he holds down on D-pad because he's on that black screen. But he wants to do it very quickly. He wants to keep doing it until he spawns in on foot and he wants to get in my car. And it'll suck him into the back of his MLC. Now he has my car. And I still have the car. Or, so we now have it. So it just made a copy of it. I did not lose it. And to show you that he has it and I have it. I'm going to drive over to where he, he is at. Where he is in the back of his MLC. Hey, so I'm going to head on over to where he is at on the map. And he's going to have the car out, and I'm going to have the car out to show you proof that I have it, and so does he. But if y'all did find this video very successful, please go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and join my GTA Discord server, and... Stay tuned to the channel for the latest glitches and updates to the game. I'm always testing glitches. I am hosting modded car giveaway. Ace. Ace. So keep those notifications turned on. And also follow me on social media. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. Or I do keep my social media platforms updated constantly. Hey, with the latest glitches and latest anything that is going on in the game or on my next giveaway that I do have scheduled. So stay very close to the social media platforms. I am very active on social media guys so do not hesitate to hit me up if y'all do have a problem or question about a glitch. But stay active to the channel. And as you see, we're about to show you, as we get closer to my friend here, we're going to show you that he has it, and so do I. As you see, he has the car, and so do I. No one has lost their car. It's a very simple give cars to friend glitch. All it did was made a copy. If y'all enjoyed the video, like I said, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and I would catch y'all inside of the next video. Peace out, and I'm gone.